I wasn't you know, Michelin or rich or whatever. I was a person. He said I was a person. Joining us now is documentary filmmaker and award-winning producer Regina Griffin. And with her is Doris McMillan, who's a journalist, entrepreneur, and a brown baby. Ladies, thank you so much uh, for joining me. I appreciate this. Doris, I want to start with you. I, I know that you didn't know much about your history, about the parts of you growing up. How did you start to put the pieces together? I'd always known I was adopted. It was just a matter of finding out that information that nobody wanted to give you. And my mother told me that I had been adopted from a German orphanage and that my father was African American and that my mother was German. And uh, I said, one day I'm going to find out what I need to know. And when she passed in 1981, uh, she left all of my information. So I was able to go back to Germany, find my mother. And once I found her, then I was able to find my father. Oh, that's outstanding. That's outstanding. And Regina, you pulled stories like Doris's together with so many others. Um, why did you feel like this was important to tell? Well, it was such a compelling story um, to me. Um, personally and professionally. I mean, it's hard to imagine today two world powers uh, sh shunning thousands of innocent children, but that's what happened. They didn't fit into uh, Jim Crow America nor Nazi Germany, so they were abandoned in German orphanages. And that was such an important part of our history, and few people know about it. You won't read about this in textbooks. Was it difficult to get people to talk about this? You know, surprisingly, it was very easy. It started with Doris, and then I started meeting other brown babies. The most difficult part, really, was trying to determine which, which one of these gut-wrenching stories to include. I mean, you have children trying to rub off the brown color off their skin. Oh, wow. uh, one man recalls his caregiver trying to drown him in a swimming pool. You know, someone spitting in a baby carriage. Um, you, today, you'd be thrown in jail if you did that to a child, but back then, you know, they got away with it. Doris, how does it affect you when you hear things like that? Well, it wasn't a very good feeling, but knowing, I, I'm just thinking about the fact that we weren't wanted, we were abandoned, we were rejected by two countries. Germany didn't want us, America didn't want us, and it was like, what are we supposed to do? Well, now we have this opportunity to tell our story. I feel like we've been redeemed in a sense. And with Regina telling the story, uh, now we've, we recognize that we have uh, validity. We are, we are people who need to be loved just like anybody else, even though we didn't get that when we were coming up. It, it sounds like that this film has had a profound effect on you, Doris. It has. I, for 30 some odd years, have been saying, I wish somebody would tell this story. And sometimes you get so close to it that you can't tell it yourself. And then Regina comes along, she says, I will tell the story. So now that the story's been told, our goal is to make sure that it gets out in uh, nationally and globally. So we're saying, sponsors? <laughs> uh, <laughs> filmmakers, uh, you know, movie execs, you need to tell this story. It needs to be on the History Channel. It needs to be on PBS. It needs to be told. I mean, we're, we're screening tonight, tonight uh -huh. and tomorrow at the ICE theaters in Chicago. But, um, you know, as Doris said, we just feel that this is such an important and compelling part of our history that it should be told um, nationwide, and we're looking for that type of support now. And you have won a, a number of awards, and, and I would hope that if people do go see this, um, that, 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 that the big wigs that you just named would see <laughs> that there's definitely an audience um, for people hearing about these types of stories. Yeah, our, we have a website, brownbabiesproject.com, and on mm -hmm. Facebook, and we're always getting requests, you know, when is this coming to, to my city? Where can I see it? So that's where we're hoping for that type of support. Ladies, thank you so much um, for sharing this with us, and, and Doris especially for ser sharing something uh, so personal, and I hope that it, that it gets the wide reception that it deserves. Thank From you. From your lips to God's ears. <laughs> All right. <laughs> thank you.